Welcome to the Flat Track Factory. Today, we're going to talk about how to estimate your gearing before you get to the racetrack. You can go to a brand new racetrack with a pretty good idea of what gear you should be running. That'll make your race day go smoother, keep you fresher and cleaner, and uh, give you more time to do other fun stuff besides um, being uh, a-holes and elbows um, slinging wrenches. So, how do I do that? Uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to do a little video capture software, so you're just going to be looking at a computer screen today. I'm going to teach you by using um, this feature here. If you see my cursor with the circle that's uh, reducing in size, that will show you where I'm looking, where I'm about to click. I'll tell you left click on your mouse or right click on your mouse. For those of you who don't know, there's two sides of your mouse. And uh, I'll be doing this on a um, desktop computer. You can do this on your phone on Google Maps but um, it's easier for me to capture this recording using my computer. So the functionality would be similar, but um, we'll do it on the computer today. So here we go. First things first, uh, I'm just gonna pretend this is your home page when you open up your browser. If you're on a computer, you can use a browser on your desktop here or on your toolbar on the bottom. I have Google Chrome, you may have that, or maybe you have uh, Firefox like this, you could click on that, or your, maybe you have um, Internet Explorer, give that a click. So I'll just pretend I click this and this opens up my home page here. And then I'll just go ahead and uh, in this bar right here, I'll type in google.com and then the enter key and boom, that will open me up to Google's home page right there. Then I'll go over and navigate to this app icon here and I'll give that a click and then it would give me the feature to use Google Maps. I could click on that or I could just type in Google Maps and get it the same way. Google Maps and enter will take me to the same spot. So then you could just click on Google Maps right here Either way, you will go ahead and end up here on Google. So we'll just go ahead and pretend we're gonna start with a racetrack that uh, we're gonna go to for the first time. So you can just use the Google search feature by typing the name of the racetrack in or the address if you have it. I'll type in an address there and it'll take me to that address. Then I'm going to close this side panel here with this delta arrow and then I'm going to switch, switch to the satellite view by clicking the satellite button down here in the left hand corner and sure enough I see a racetrack. So I'll click and hold and drag that racetrack to the center then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to get the racetrack in this orientation for easier measuring. So I'll go ahead and uh, click on this feature over here. And it's going to think about it for a while. I'll have a little adult beverage here. Hope you're enjoying one as well. I don't know what's going on there. There we go. Click on this to rotate the view 90 degrees. And that just gives me more real estate when I blow this up. I'll use this plus feature here to go ahead and expand this racetrack. It's a cool little short track that we raced at. Um, uh, fun feature about this track, see this access road? That's paved. See these pits? That's paved. You see this staging area? That's covered. See these pits? They're all covered. Here's like a uh, movie theater style seating in this box here and in that box there and that box there kind of a trip You got to come check this out sometime Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maximize there and just fill out this screen as best I can with the whole racetrack then I'm gonna click a uh, right click on my mouse and This menu comes up and I'm navigate down here to measure distance and then left click on measure distance and then click on here where I want to go ahead and start measuring. So generally what I do is I start at the exit of turn four just for fun. 
So what comes up initially when you click on measure distance is, and then click on the map, you get your first two um, indicators. So I go ahead and kind of put this about three feet off of the inside of the racetrack, off the pole. When I was a kid reading the AMA Pro Racing rule book, I believe, or I think I, <laughs> I think that's what it said, is uh, racetracks are measured, measured three feet off the pole, so that's what I always do. Now, it really doesn't matter what, uh, where you measure the racetrack. You could measure it on the inside or in the middle, or I suppose you could even maybe measure the racing line. As long as you're measuring each and every racetrack as close to exactly the same way each time, your data will be consistent enough to give you um, helpful information. So uh, incidentally, uh, I got a buddy who has a measuring wheel and um, this feature seems to be pretty close. I think he runs around the middle of the track, I run around the bottom, but the bottom line is we're comparing one track to the next. Uh, the number is kind of irrelevant. So again, uh, I'll just grab a hold of the second pin here and drag that about to the end of the straightaway. And then I'll let go of it and then I'll just move forward. Now that I'm in the corner here, I'm just gonna kinda do the best I can. You can get really precise with this if you want and it's like, oh, you don't like this one, so you move that, click and drag, and oh, that one's a little too far in. I don't really think this matters a whole lot, but um, let's go ahead and go around the racetrack here the best that you can. Try to be consistent about it, and then when I get to the exit, of the corner it starts to get straight. Looks like we got 539 feet already, right? It's got a cumulative total down here. So now that I got the straightaway, I'll go ahead and save some time by clicking all the way down at the other end of the straightaway, all right? Well, maybe that's a little too far, so maybe I'll move it back. Corner's already started, looks like. Then I'll just go ahead and keep on going around here. You guys getting bored? You clicked off already? Anybody watching anymore? All right. About done with my first racetrack there. Okay, so what do we got here? Looks like we've got our total distance around the bottom, uh, 1,000 feet. All right. So what? What does that mean? Well, I don't know. Let's find another racetrack. So open up another window. Go ahead, go to Maps, and then type in. Let's type in a completely different racetrack. Oops, misspelled it, but I bet you it's going to find it anyway. Amazing thing about good, uh, Google, you don't have to spell. So I'll go ahead and I'll close my side panel again with this little delta here. And then I will uh, switch to satellite, see if I'm in the right spot. Um, interesting side tidbit, the, I changed the starter motor in the box van in uh, this Burger King parking lot uh, one time. Well, I mean, I didn't, but... Shane Fox did, and I stood out, and I think I read uh, news articles on my phone while he did it. it. took him about six minutes. Anyway, I'll click on a satellite right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. And then sure enough, we got ourselves a beautiful fairgrounds racetrack there. Nice looking track. Let's go ahead and uh, use this plus feature over here to zoom in on that track a little bit, and we'll start the same process. Again, I'll right click on my mouse, over here to get this menu, where I'll go down to measure distance, left click on measure distance, and now I'm ready. My next click will give me, there we got our first, it always wants to go backwards on me. So I'll just click on this, the first pin there, and move my start pin back just because I'm weird like that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this pin all the way down this way to measure this big long racetrack straight away. So I'll go ahead and uh, click on the map here, hold and drag so I can get this side of the racetrack visible. Then I'll grab a hold of this pin over here and stretch it all the way out to what I think the end of the straightaway is. Look at the size of that straightaway. 
It's a good 660 feet of straightaway. Then I'll go back to the same process. Try to go to right around the pole. So we raced, uh, the first time they've ever raced motorcycles at this fairgrounds was last summer. It's uh, coarsely crushed uh, blue limestone, according to the track prep guys. I don't know what that means exactly, but that's what they said. When they watered it and put the chemical down it, on it, it looked like black asphalt. It's hard packed in the straightaways and about a foot deep in the corners, and I would not recommend getting roosted by it. It was impressive. Okay, and this corner does kind of tighten up in a strange sort of way. Okay, so now I'd like to measure the whole straightaway in one go. So I'll gra grab a hold of the map here, click left, left click and hold, and then kind of move the map up so I can find the kind of the end of the back straightaway. And I'll go ahead and click kind of the end of the back straightaway right there, and then just measure it all in one sloop, uh, one fell swoop. Look at that, we're already at 1980. That's a big track. So we'll finish this out, same way. I'll start just clicking around here. You can be as precise as you want. Gonna make you guys probably getting bored. Kind of fun statistics. Uh, there's only 40% of you uh, still watching by this point. The analytics of the video said so that's the way this works. What have we got there? Look at that. Look at the size of that racetrack right down here. So, what do you think about that? That's a big racetrack. So, is that a real is that a real half mile? What do you think? Let's find out. One divided by two, obviously, is 0.5 times a mile in feet. 2640. Look at that. I would say that's a real half mile, like they said. I'm sure I could uh, get a, another 30 or 40 feet had I measured this only slightly differently. Pretty cool, right? Go ahead and minimize that a little bit and see. There we go. That's how we measured that track. You want to do one more for fun? Let's do one more for fun. do um, a new track that uh, we started running down here in the south. Um, it's right there on 85. I've been driving past this thing for 15 years and wondering, kind of like to race there, and we finally did. Let's see if the Googles knows what I'm talking about. Hmm, looks like it does. I'll go ahead and again collapse this window. And I'll go to satellite imagery, see what it looks like. Hey, look at that, a racetrack right by I-85. We'll go ahead and zoom in on that racetrack. Looks like it's got some rain ruts in it. It's probably was not, hadn't been raced on in a while. But the procedure will be the same. Let's go ahead and uh, you tell me what I'm going to do. Right click or left click? Right click, yeah. Right click to get your menu. Left click on measure distance. Left click on the map where you want to put that. And then go ahead and always wants to do it backwards. So I'll go ahead and kind of measure this. I don't really know right where the inside of this track is. I've raced here once before. I like this track. I'll go ahead and probably going to long corners, I guess. All right, and then let's kind of follow this along here. You guys are getting bored of me doing this, but repetition is key to learning, and it gives me an excuse to talk a little longer. So why are we doing this? What are we trying to accomplish here? Well, we're trying to get some data here so we can compare similar track sizes, and then that's going to be a starting point for what gear we're going to run. Now, of course, there's other variables to what size. Uh, I remember this now. Those are tires right there. I think we're pretty close. Um, there's other variables to how quick a racetrack's going to be. Uh, the banking and the friction, you know, coefficient of friction, which is going to be primarily with uh, the dirt used and the wetness of the dirt and all that sort of stuff. So 
Track size is not it. So what have we got here? Look at this one. So what would you call that? Um, it's kind of a fun feature. Uh, once a racetrack gets to uh, about a thousand feet, track owners get tempted to call it a quarter mile. And uh, once it gets to about 1,300 feet, then they are they want to call it a three-eighths mile. And once it gets to a, what's a three-eighths mile uh, in length, then they want to call it a half mile. So you know, that's a little bit of human nature on that. So this is a you know. A 1100 foot uh, racetrack. So what are we going to do this information? Well, let's take a look here. This first tra racetrack that we went to looks like we came up with a with a thousand feet. Now, let's look at the shape of this one here. It's different, right? This one here, if we wanted to um, verify what my suspicion is, is this track looks like it's got more corner to it than this track. So let's find out. I, I'll clear that measurement out and I'll go ahead and right click again, measure distance, and then um, let's measure this one this way. 135 feet across. Let's look at this racetrack. What is this one? Right click, measure distance, left click. My button appeared there, our first yeah, what do we got there? 206 feet. Interesting. So what does that mean? Well, I think that means we're going to have higher corner speeds here and lower corner sp speeds here. All things being equal, which they never are. But you got to start somewhere. So. That's kind of, you know, I could go on here and we could talk about the intricacies of this, but this has served me very well. I uh, write down in a data um, in a data bank or just a note on my phone. Uh, data bank makes it sound like I'm some sort of computer guy or something. Yeah, just write it down on a piece of paper or make a note in your phone and say, you know, this track, I ran this gear, and maybe the next time you go back, you might make a change. Note, note that down. And then you're going to build up your knowledge base of how long these tracks are by measuring them like this. Jot those down in your notes. And uh, next time that you uh, go to a new racetrack you've never been to, you go on Google Earth, look it up, measure the track, look at something else in your data, and that's a good starting point. So there you go. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, do me a favor, click the like button. Maybe tell me uh, what you think I could have done better. Uh, let me know how you do it. Uh, let me know what we could um, improve on. Uh, just what you think. I appreciate uh, reading your comments and uh, the like and subscribe and notification bell clicking, all that stuff that uh, YouTubers like to tell you. It just makes a big difference on the creative side. So uh, if you feel like doing that, that'd be great. Thanks for watching.